Right, hello everybody, welcome to replay analysis of VIP Squirrel Dudes game um, versus Skurometso. So, in uh, in Blua, I believe, I don't know, I'm just making that up. Um, so, if we put on learned skills SFL, there you go, see I was making it up. Um, I meant SFL, I just said Blue by mistake. <laughs> right, so here we go, we've got... Um, Let's have a look at the teams. So Skurumetso's the Necro that presumably Squirrel Dude chose to receive. I'm going to guess here. One less man. 12 versus 13. There's not a lot of skills here, is there? Really? He's got a guard. Were, were these free agents? Presumably these were free agents. Because um, uh, he's got three skills on him and three skills on him. Um, Squirrel Dude's got a guard, stand firm, a guard, block guard. And an edge move block sure feet yeah so yeah they, it looks like there's returning players yeah yeah for sure right so interesting because they, then they're, it's kind of a game of star players this one isn't it um, it's kind of an extra a game of extreme players which is interesting so it's a not normally and not a normal game of like not normally developed teams are they yes. And hello, Dr. Mabosco. Hello, Volpes. Um, so, punching. Will these blocks on the LOS all right? I don't know. I've already, uh, I've already missed the blocks on the LOS. Right, let's let's go back to the start. So he blocked diagonally there. He didn't have guard. So maybe it should have been uh, maybe that the white and the. Uh, Zombie, the white and the mummy should have been swapped around there, so you could have hit him next on two dice. So I think, unless you wanted to blitz this, but no, no, even then, I think they should have been the other way around, right? So that you would have had the second block diagonal, because if you'd pushed him, you couldn't have hit him. So, the very slight thing there, there you go. Um, hello, Just Joe, hello, Satterfield. To uh, Jim Con legends there. And Oriolensis, glorious. The gang's all here. So blitz it, blitzing a stand firm guy is obviously not ideal, is it? That's the thing about fleshies. They're pretty annoying when you don't power them and no block to knock them over. So maybe could have uh, blitzed him. I mean, you don't want to just not blitz. So I can understand going for it. Um, maybe you could have uh, hit from the middle square so that he'd be kind of more protected. Um, but it's still not easy to get hits on a, on a mummy, is it? So... You know, it is what it is. Hello, Jawsus. Right, three carryover players and two games to have leveled any miles. Right. So they were all his returnings, and they were his returnings, and he got randomly got a guard. <laughs> Boo. Sorry, Albo Rambo. Um, that seems to have not worked, but. Um, It is what it is. Squirrel, 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 dude, squirrel, dude. I can't speak properly. I was trying to say squirrel, dude, but instead, squirrel, not so. Squirrel, dude, is the is the VIP, and it, this is his game that he wanted. Um, so what's what squirrel done here? Is run around the side with him, almost. All right. So safari balls, yeah, safari balls. So is is mummies surrounded? But he's still getting a two D there. Um, he opens his turn with this 2D without block, um, with the ball completely exposed. Maybe could have made safe moves first this turn. Yeah, um, that seems a little bit, a little bit greedy there to make a one in nine hit. Uh, although it's a nice ah, chain on him to hit him. Yeah, safe moves first, but yeah, still still could have done safe moves first, right? Um, I don't hate. Yeah, I don't hit uh, the chain, but I think, and again here, could have moved him to there first, right? Uh, if this is a, although he has blocks, so it's less likely to be disastrous. Um, could have still done these two moves before that. And probably would have prioritized the um, the ghoul hit. 
Ah, uh, though you couldn't have taken them both down on the ghoul hat anyway. Oh god, in the double skull. Oh. Oh. Um. So. <laughs> yeah, that's brutal. So that's obviously very unlucky. I would have still done that hit first, just because then you're more likely to have the reroll for that one, and that's the one that you'll really want to work, isn't it? Um, the only bad thing is, of course, if you were going to accept a both down, then I think that maybe the just make the first block, for, make that block, block the zombie first, if you're willing to accept the both down, because then the one, the both down, you can still take him, he's still based on him and it's all right, whereas you can't accept the both down versus the ghoul, can you? So if, you, if you're going to hit the ghoul, you've got to, you've got to re-roll a one in nine, whereas if you're hitting the zombie, you don't necessarily have to re-roll a one in nine. Um, so, yeah, I think... I think maybe if you're going to make that block for oh, only two rerolls, yeah. So maybe by making that block first, maybe you eat the one in nine because at least you're doing something. Whereas if you'd made the ghoul block first, um, then you really wouldn't want to take the boat down, would you? So it's it's interesting. I think the fact that you committed the reroll to the both down means that you'd have been better off hitting the ghoul first, if you see what I mean. I don't know. Hopefully you can understand that. Imagine somebody spoke English, and that's what happened. Uh, I don't know if you thought about not stand, standing firm there, but I think not standing firm would have been better to have less assists on the foul if he uh, goes for it. Which he could do. Um, you could argue that maybe having the block in the front and the not block at the back is better, but I, I don't know, I don't think it matters that much. Because you, you can do a big foul here, can you? Well, four, three assist foul. You can foul it. You might do it. You never know. Okay, he's not doing it. Because he has got 13 players, so fouling, fouling is an option for him, isn't it? This is getting tricky now, isn't it? You've got a fleshy at the front of the cage. He's out of range to stop the assist. He's that stun is brutal. To be fair, I mean, if he could just stand up, then you could spank him, maybe get the power. But uh, I don't even know what to do here. So you've got you've got two players not in tackle zones. Um, it's hard to go this way because you've got no tackle. Um, so you probably want to go this way. If you're blitzing with him, run around him out 2d him as well so 2d both of these and then try to dodge these out to make some kind of screen up there that's what i would be thinking of doing this is not rebel no wow ballsy Blitz with a carrier on the uh, on him. Whoop! <laughs> I think I'm better of going there. Uh, so that does free up the zombie, of course. Um, I think I preferred blitzing him just because then on a the push you can still run around a bit, whereas on a the push there you were pretty much not in a good spot. And yep, there you go. There's the fucking GFI that you can't reroll. Disgusting. Um, so yeah, I think I would have blitzed him just because then the push gets you. And also, this isn't like an H three character, isn't it? I'd rather a white was free than a zombie was free. Um, so yeah, uh, he's easy to knock over. The winning seventy five percent, but he him you just need to push. I think this is okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G five in the scoring range. That's something that I need to. Um, that's what I something I need to think about more is making sure you're in scoring range. Are oh, you moving eight anyway? Um, but a lot of the time I'll end up in that square with a beast man and be like, damn, I probably should have been one square forward so that if I had to score, I could have tried. Cheeky little, oh, not friend's job. This, this stun is just brutal. And another removal. This is not how you play. Bad, bad play score will do is getting people removed. Yeah, edge four, you could still dodge forward. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Cheeky GFI. Oh, it fails! Le double A1s! 
Oh, I'd be, I'd, you'd want to, you want to foul this, don't you? Like, even if it's not smart, you want to do it. <laughs> Hundred percent. I don't think anybody wouldn't want to, wouldn't want to foul this. Um. One, two. Because it's hard, isn't it? I think. Probably want to think about the ball first. Here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Get him. Get him up. I think a lot of people would have wanted to foul him. Do only have one reserve, but um, I think it'd have been all right. I quite like this so that it's not the best, but at least it's some cover if you fail the one in nine. That's, I like I like doing that sort of thing myself. And yeah, stop him potentially GFIing in. Ghouls are good, aren't they? I think it's crazy that people don't want ghouls sometimes. Oh my god, Skuro with a bloody ridiculous look there. Look a dog. Oh god, no regen. There's not a lot you can do about that. You could have maybe just left these guys lying down. Well, no, only one was lying down, the other one wasn't, so you almost had to. Uh, Stand up the other one and just yeah, nothing you can stop that, is it? If people two D your two D your uh, if people two D your mummies and cast them and they don't regen, not what you can do about that. Oh, it's the classic. It's the classic fucking blitz. Then dodge away. God damn it! Again, opening with a two D. Without block, with only one reroll, I think what you probably should have done was try to do safe moves. The three players here are free. I know that does free him up and gets guard in there, but um, like that's obviously a good that's a good move. Again, hitting without the block first. So this is two blockless blocks now. Before doing this one, so I think maybe just do that one first, so that um, well, who knows what's correct? I think it was correct to not do it then. <laughs> yeah, easy. I think it was it was right to not do it at the start. I think if you're going to do this blitz here, do that blitz first, so that you've definitely got a reroll for it. <laughs> Well, it's done now, isn't it? I think, but that's it, you know, I think either you move these guys up and then do something else, or you do the move that you did. If you're doing the move that you did, hit him first, so you've definitely got a reroll for it. Because the worst thing you could have done there was making this block one in nine, reroll's gone, and then you fail at that block, you know? Like, doing two kind of irrelevant blocks first. Um, like, obviously, they were better than not doing them, but the ordering, isn't it, is the, is the thing. Essentially irrelevant. Irrelevant to the position of the ball and the ball security. Nice cheeky stun on the wolf. Um... <laughs> oh, I don't know, we might see. Um, excuse me, we might see. Right, so, here we go, another turn. Um, and everything's pretty much based, isn't it? Will you, will you leave him with two turns? You can blitz there, go back here, put him there, block him, and then try to dodge that. I think that seems relatively safe. Doesn't that sidestep? He's here. Herp derp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I am on the right. Blitz burp, him. Burp, burp. Go there. I mean, you want to dodge there and then block, don't you? So maybe... And then you want to stand there, really, not on the sideline. 
So maybe go there, blitz with him, but then a push is horrible. This is pretty tricky. Oh, you blitz this one. No, he hasn't got an assist. Fuck. <laughs> So, yeah, the problem is, this is where you wanted the ball to be, isn't it, probably? I know, there, yeah, that's okay, because he's here, okay. And then he wants to be one forward. I don't like this. He should be one forward. I think. I think it works out, works out, but I think he wanted to be one forward because um, he's got no tackle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. It is just a 2-2 two -two to get a 1D on you. But um, if you go there then and you fail the dodge, you've still got a screen, haven't you? Um, yeah, it works out, but I had not a chance not to work. I mean, it works out nicely what, by making the dodge and getting the push, for sure. Worked out nicely. Um... And if you could have guaranteed it to work out, I mean, even he could have been one square in if, if this was the kind of thing, one in would have been better. Because then it, then you've actually got guard on the ball. So I think actually one in would have been a lot better. So you'd have had to hit you from here. He couldn't have hit you from this square, could he? You'd have had to hit you from one of these two, which would make pushing him a lot harder. So I think, uh, I think definitely he wanted to be one in. So that. Right, just punching things here, Skuro. Yes, it would, it would have made it easy for the Adge School to dodge it behind one square forward. But you would have had the option then of just, you know, then what, what you could have done is that dodge would have put this guy to here, and then this guy would have then dodged away. So it would have still been, it would have ended up a stronger formation in the end. Um for the same amount of risk as what there was. Wouldn't have been able to cast a zombie, but... Um, right, so still amazingly got the second reroll, so can punch things. Punch, punch, punch. I'm not sure about them without block. Um, especially when, you know, it's just, it's just to get SBP, isn't it? With uh, having two reserves, probably. Two chances to get his KOs back. I like that one more. I like punching the dog more. Oh. There you go, one mil. I would say the, the biggest thing was the ordering, yeah. I would say the ordering and maybe safety. Not that I'm saying that I would have uh, done better ordering or made it safer. I just think that would have been better blood ball. <laughs> Very rare that I would do the safest moves first. I like to do safe moves sometimes. <laughs> At some point. I think a lot of the time you can do kind of a bit dodgy things until your reroll's gone and then you can tighten it up. Um, like, you know, if you're blocking with block and stuff, you can think, I'll do this block, see what happens. Because you're only really punished on the 1, 12, 9, 6. But when they're 1 in 8, you ones. And 1 in 9 is really because you don't have to use your, your last reroll, do you? So as it worked out, the reroll on the uh, on the initial mummy was a great reroll, wasn't it? With no others needed. So here is Skuro's one turn, and we can have a look and see what it's like. And without being mean to Skuro, um, it's not bad, is it? Actually, he's going to blitz him in there, chain him to there. It probably well, I would have put the guard in there and then tried made made this three dice. I uh, probably, you know, may, potentially made this three dice. I think this would have been possible to make this first one three dice with a guard here. Um, so he gets the push. Do do do. Here's the second one. And. Do you know what he should have done there? I'll tell you what he should have done. He should have uh, pushed him to here. He should have filled in this square first, probably. Um, with this school. 
and then he could have pushed him to there so he would have been powered here but he could have hit him in front whereas as it is now he hasn't got it as he? he hasn't got another hit oh he has he's got this hit he's got this hit it's alright disregard it was fine what he did because he's got this guy as well so alright works out fine yeah but still, it worked, didn't it? Um, also, he probably should have passed it <laughs> before he started doing anything else, because now he might be out of range. <laughs> yeah, there's a GFI. Oh, double ones. Le double ones. And the GFI was probably a, a, a six. <laughs> the double ones. Well, he's not much he could have done about the double one, was there? Flim flam, fucking clue. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, the kick was brutal. Yeah. Yes, go do that in two minutes. Yeah, incredible. Right, it's obviously hugely unlucky to be down a mummy, really, uh, considering he wasn't hit by, you know, the Palmer and he wasn't hit by the Claw Mighty, was he? <laughs> well, don't be mean to Rebel, please, BZL. Um, please don't get me a second strike. <laughs> hello, J5. I mean, no, hello, Kixos. <laughs> okay, as long as you don't call any play made in... Rebel bad, as long as you don't ever do that, we, we should be alright, hopefully. Yeah, as we have hasn't done much at all, no, correct. <laughs> That's your dick, fucking hell. It's fantastic. As always, J5. As always, it's fantastic. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, the rock. And he gets a touch back. Give it to his wolf. To skill him up more. No, he's giving it to him. I don't like that. I would give it to Wolf to skill him up more. Or maybe this rookie white to get a uh, guard. <laughs> it would, wouldn't it, with Batman, but it's better safe than sorry. <laughs> you can call me shit, yeah, that's no problem at all. But you know, it might be caught in public opinion if you call Rebel shit. Or anybody who plays in Rebel shit. That could be caught in public opinion for all I, uh, For all I know. So he's Skuro's doing the classic blitz, then dodge away again. By the looks of it, which is disgusting and should be punished. And he frenzy trapped himself as well. God, Skuro playing like an absolute, absolute ladder shithead. <laughs> no offense to Skuro, <laughs> but playing like an absolute. <laughs> <laughs> ladder shithead. Right, let's stay on the Squirrel Dude's view, actually, because it's Squirrel Dude's play, isn't it? Right, so, um... This is the, uh... Right. Yeah, no, I mean, it's how a lot of people play normally, isn't it? It's, uh, it you know, I was, I was just I was just exaggerating for comedic effect there. I wasn't trying to be mean to him. But, um, this is how a lot of people on ladders play. Play wolves, isn't it? They'll 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 frenzy trap themselves. They'll dodge away, and they kind of don't really care. Whereas I personally would have used him to block on the LOS, and uh, blitzed with the pommel or something. But never mind. Right. Um, so blitz him, and then geofire to base the ball. Is that worth it? Probably not with two rerolls. Um, Probably just blitz him with block or him with the mummy. I don't know. Two stuns mean I wouldn't want to wear. Uh, 
I wouldn't want to commit too heavily. Oh, he's there's, there's, got a ghoul there. So running around to hit this ghoul into an extra block would be all right. Look, he could have run around one, two, three, four, five, six, couldn't he? Hit him and then uh, got an extra block out of it. Was oh, this a GFI? Oh, no, it's hitting him. Still a GFI. Not sure about a GFI to hit a bludger. Um, obviously, big payoff if it works. But yeah, I think I would have gone for the. I think I would have liked to think I would have gone for the uh, block hit on the ghoul into an extra block hit. Um, hello, Mega Cotton. <laughs> um, the coaching thing is an excellent excuse to totally destroy people. I don't want to destroy people's players. I want to be constructive, don't I, rather than uh, anything else. So, I mean, this is giving some hits, isn't it? This Randor tagging. Um, I'm sure Scro Scroll Dude had a... Why do they both nearly have the same fucking name, honestly? <laughs> I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure Safari Ball had a plan. But I don't like just randomly tagging there. And... This isn't so good without him not being able to dodge out. If the ghoul was here, then he could he didn't have the dodge out, did he? He could hit him with a guard and another guy. So that this would have held him a lot better if uh, if that if that ghoul had been one up. Um, it is uh, extra Wrigley's extra bubble gum, and it's um, it's very nice. Hope he blocks and goes with him as his team. Fair enough. Yeah, that's fair enough. Isolate him. One of his better players on one of your worst players. So yeah, just hope to just hope to get the hits there. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Don't hate it all. The problem is you are I'm a raid, aren't you? And only doesn't have mighty blow. Um, I think that would maybe be a better play with an elf. You know, if you're kind of threatening the ball or whatever. Um, as it is, yes, it is stopping him getting into the main fight, kind of. But there isn't really a main fight to get into, is there? Um, at this present time. I would say. Um, well, I don't know. Just saying something shit isn't very constructive in itself, is it, Sarfield? That, that's what I was trying to say. Like, just saying this is shit doesn't help anyone, does it? But saying this is shit because something does, doesn't it? Um, so there you go. He hits the he hits the no block player. I mean, the ghouls. I think the ghouls are quite susceptible to like the block hits. Aren't they? So maybe he should have had the uh, white exposed there rather than him. A bit unlucky from school, I'm not to get a break. Also, the fact you've got the two stuns and the removal, presumably, um, means that basing there. <laughs> I don't know. I, I both love and hate it, though. I don't have Pedro. That's the thing. You know, it's easy to diss Blood Bowl, but I still, you know, play it. <laughs> yeah, see, he had the dodge out there, didn't he? If you if you put him there, he would have only had a four plus three plus help. I would have failed it as it happens. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough. You could think about it, right? So here, we've got a one D on the ball. With with some dice, probably a lot of dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. So crazy dice then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's totally not worth doing. Can hit him without tackle, obviously, because there's no tackle. He can hit him to free him up. Or he could hit him with block and then he could hit him if you don't care about freeing him up. Um, could blitz him. Because again he hasn't got um he hasn't got block. I quite like hitting like dodge players with block. It's quite quite effective, isn't it? Because then it's like they haven't got dodge anymore. So you could come in there, blitz him into him again. I don't want to hit that. But you probably do want to get in the way, to be fair, 1-0 up. So I'd say hit the white or hit him and get people in the way. Let's see what happens. What have we got? Base on the fleshies again. Oh, he could have run around and blitzed him onto an extra block. That would have been all right, wouldn't it? He could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, blitz him from that direction. Then on a push, you've got to hit him again with the uh, 
or the white, especially as he's, he's literally gone to that exact square that he would have been at to hit that way. So I think that would have been definitely better. So yeah, using him to free up the ghoul. I'm gonna put him here. Oh, I think here, so you've got the screen with the, uh, I think him there. I think I'm gonna put him there, just so you've got the screen with the other, uh, like obviously your plan is to stand him up and dodge him out, but if it fails, you wouldn't have had a screen there, would you? Um, so I think he should have been one away. Now, what's Skuro gonna do? Punch, punch, pom. Stay where he is, more or less. I think. Yeah, that's the thing. Mighty Blood does make things a lot harder to mark. Like, if people... That's that's the good thing about going block Mighty Blow on uh, Lizard Men. It's what Saurus. Because once you've got Mighty Blow, people can't really... Well, they can. They, don't, they really don't want to just, like, mark you up. Because you're liable to kick the shit out of them. Oh, the dodge. Dodge into a totally protected ball carrier. Unprotected ball carrier, rather. Oh, there's a dodge. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind tagging them at all because of that. Also, you can even tag them with ghouls just because uh, you've got the dodge, haven't you? And they don't have blocks, so... Yeah, that's for sure. Um... Yeah, Pedro one died, but he was on zero SPP, so I didn't up him or anything. I just uh, replaced him after the game. So that was a huge dodge. I think, I think honestly, Skuru maybe should have rerolled that palm hit and tried to cage up in the middle here somehow. Uh, but it was he had he had bad luck actually. He only pushed him, and then only pushed him, and then failed his dodge. So he was pretty unlucky that turn actually. To be fair. Um, so now obviously the ball carrier can pick it up. Not in any tackle zones. So you've got to think where he's going to go. Um, he's ended. He's still got circles. All right, here we go. Turn 11. So you've got to think where the ball's going to go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you have to go back here. So you want to... You maybe even want to blitz him. Um, I mean, unlikely. But it's, it's a consideration you've got to make at the start of your turn. Is do you blitz him? Um, because it might have got your players in a better position. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you push him, he's not in a good spot, is he? This is the thing. This is the thing, right? If you just push him, which is what you're likely to do in having dodge, your guy's here. And you want really what you want to do is go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can put the screen out there. So maybe it would have been better to come in and blitz with him and push him to there. And then so you'd have a full screen for it. Um and obviously these would then do things later and he would come in there and stuff. So yeah, I would think... I would think about blitzing him. I think I would have blitzed him. Before. Oh, and didn't pick up with him. Picked up with the other one. Alright. And I handed it off to him. Okay. I don't like blitzing this guy then, though. I think once you've done that, then move up and blitz the fleshy. To try to get him in the action of the screen. I guess you get him. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. This is uh, more aggressive than I would have done. With being 1-0 up. Um, but obviously the payoff is, is quite huge, isn't it? Yeah, he could have assisted this block, right? So... I would have got him up to around there to assist that. And then he could have blitzed him. On a wanna. It would have been pretty good. I think. But yeah, I didn't even consider the handoff. I just thought pick up with the edge four shoe hands, but though especially with only two rerolls. Like with two rerolls I'd be wanting to play more conservatively for sure. Especially being one nil up. He's got through, hasn't he? There were some dice rolls from Skuro. Wow. 
He nearly made more dice rolls as well, didn't he? Look a dog. <laughs> um, but now, now is the time for all the safe moves in the world, isn't it? And then 2D him. Um, this should be easy wrap up from here. Even power him. Wouldn't have moved him because he, he's giving you the foul, isn't he? On him. He, like, he's essentially the only guy who can do anything. I guess he can hurt you as well. If he, because if you only pushed him, I guess you can, you can stop him there. If you only push him anyway, so. Wait, if this is a bit of push, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was a good move. Get the fuck away. Yeah, if you pick up with the ball carrying hand off the other one, then you probably couldn't get far enough away, though, could you? Like, picking up the other one hand off the ball carry does get you. But big, so you go for the dodge. Dodge foul, fair enough. Oh, dead! <laughs> oh, what a monster foul. <laughs> Jesus. So, yeah, I mean, that was pretty much what I what? I guess most people would have done, but yeah, maybe maybe think about. Uh... No, that was fine because a push there would have been fine, and this way you've got him and him. So yeah, I actually quite like that because you had the girl to cover the go the other way. Squirrel can't do anything now, can he? I don't think there's anything he can do. He can pom a zombie. <laughs> And fail. <laughs> oh. So probably no one can reach at all. Just got to count some squares, haven't you? Um. At this point, I think you've got to hit him so that he can't hurt your players. So I'd have probably blitzed him with the uh, this white that ran away. Oh, going for a going for level ups. With one reroll. Disgusting. Disgusting here. Skuro, wow. A Skuro fucking safari ball. Wow. <laughs> Disgusting safari ball dice rolling here. This is disgusting. This is pretty disgusting. Squirrel <laughs> dude. It's over now, isn't it? Pretty much. Stone can foul him, and he can be completely out of range as well. Well, he's stunned anyway, so definitely completely out of range. Just don't want to get players hurt. Oh God! Oh! <laughs> Completely and utterly disgusting, school dude. <laughs> Should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> no, it's fair enough, innit? 1 0 up. 1 0 up in no danger. That's totally fair. I'd go so far as to say that was the, the right, exactly the right time to uh, do those kind of passes. For sure. Like, Skuro's pretty much given up on doing anything, hasn't he? The ghoul that could have done anything was stunned. Fuck. 
Fouling this edge for to save it. Not really to save it, just a, just a rando spike foul, isn't it? Pretty much. <laughs> Is there going to be another pass now? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. I think, actually, you probably should have put him in the middle so that there would have been more scatters where somebody could have caught it. Um, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, it would have been better, wouldn't it? There would have been four possible squares where you could have caught it instead of one possible square where you'd have caught it. So, yeah, I think that would have been better. Obviously, again, no one expects hyper optimal play, do they? Especially when you're crushing somebody and just farming passes. But, I think that would have been better. On the KO. Patrick Hunt. <laughs> that was nice, actually, wasn't it? The two completions on him to level him, and then maybe a tutty on him to level him. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good play, honestly. That is good lead play, to be fair, trying to maximize his PPs. Yeah, no, I, I wasn't really. Yeah, I, I, you knew what I meant. I would hope. <laughs> it's always worth trying to hurt people, isn't it, in the league? Touchdown, Jim! Touchdown, Jim! There you go. That was interesting, wasn't it? Um, that's interesting. 31 blocks to 41. Four cars to none. <laughs> um... 50-50 on dodges. It, feel, it feels like Skuro was mostly just unlucky there, doesn't it? I don't feel like Skuro played loads worse or anything. Um, he had that turn where he just rolled pushes and then uh, and then failed the ball, failed the dodge, didn't he? I mean, your offensive drive was was really quite dodgy in places, wasn't it? If a few one in nines had failed, you'd be in a lot of trouble. And then his offensive drive. He did the one in nine and failed it, and it was over, wasn't it? <laughs> so I guess on another day that could have been a one-nil win to him. Um, but I don't think either of you uh, either of you played badly, really. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, All right. Anyway, hopefully he got something from that. Could have played a bit safer. I guess Skuro could have done as well. I think maybe he's. Could have played more conserv conservative with the recovery, but um, obviously it worked out. And uh, yeah, I think Skuro could have played more conservatively as well when he was kind of hemmed in, but as you said, he thought he had more space than he did. So it makes sense that he didn't. Right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.